The third and final one day international in this three match series between Pakistan and Zimbabwe. Welcome to the highlights. Raul Pindi has staged all three matches. Pakistan have won the first two. We had a quicker pitch for the first. The second was a little slower. And uh, this third pitch looks uh, every bit as good, as flat and as true as the others. Perhaps a little more pace. Now at the toss, point went up from Barbarazan. It came down in favor of Zimbabwe and Chamu Chababa said that Zimbabwe would bat first. Couple of changes for Pakistan. In comes Fakazaman, Kushdil Shah and Wahab Riaz. He comes back and Mohamed Hasnain takes his place in the side. And for Zimbabwe, Donald Tirupano uh, takes the place of Karl Mumba, the fast bowler. Play. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of inside edge, but you know what he was trying to do. On target almost. Shaheen Shah Afridi, we know his ability to bring that ball back in. Edge and taken. Good catch. Very good take. I think it's Iftikhar who's held on to that one quite brilliantly. Well, there's no need to be playing at this, Chamuchi Baba. It's wide, it's back of a length, and all he's done really is just open the face and given slip catching practice to uh, the man at second slip. Oh, caught behind. Choked down the leg side. Yeah, this one's gone off the surface as well. That's quite unfortunate for Craig Irvin. Oh, that's close. Gone. It's got to go. No, not out. Apish, nicely played. Good wristy shot. First four of the innings. And it comes from the blade of Brendan Taylor. Good shot. Ten for two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nice. Square drive. Footwork was a lot better. That's a fast outfield. Fast scoring outfield. And so a boundary. Ball him. Over they go. Hasnain is the wrecker. In this third ODI. He's always at pace. Pakistan doing extremely well. If Shahin Shafridi won't get you, it's Hasnan today. He slashed and slashed hard. Oh! Well, Kushdil Shah there making that error in judgment. Musa and the skipper both won't be happy with that effort. Driven, driven hard. That's a great shot from Brendan Taylor. Straight past Musa Khan. That'll just get Musa Khan's fuse a little bit shorter. Oh, well bowled. Oh, that's really well bowled. And no wonder Musa Khan just turns round looking disgruntled. Another good shot. This is expertly played and placed. 50 partnership is raised. He's liking this angle from Iftikhar, not allowing him to settle down. 52 of 58 now. Into the gap, that is well struck. This time it's the left-hander who does a good job with the reverse sweep. So, something for... If the hard to ponder. Up and over from Brendan Taylor. What a good shot to reach your half century. It's a brilliant shot from Brendan Taylor. And he gets to his half century. 53 from 64. Gone. And that's a fourth wicket for Hasnain. And that's just what Pakistan wanted, and it's just what Zimbabwe did not want. 
And that's just the reason why Baba Azam has brought Hasnain back into the attack. Partnership looking very good, threatening. And Brendan Taylor giving away his wicket. Goes leg side this time. Guess the gap and guess the boundary. Short and pull in front of square and that's fizzed away to the fence. Williams is back-to-back -back 50s. Down the track and he smashed that into the fence. Glorious hit from the youngster. This time goes leg side, he's timed that really well and it's raced across the practice pitches there. Uh, top edge and gone. Five wickets for Hasnan. What a grand comeback for him. Got laid on that short pitch ball. Got a little cramp and he knew straight away that he was in trouble and very good caught ball by young Hasnan. What a feat. Catch it is the call. Is this the sixth one? Is this the sixth one? Oh, he's dropped it. Musa there. And this really should have been taken. It looked like he almost panicked when he saw that go up. Didn't get the hands up. This is a lot better. Wow, what a shot that is. Beautifully timed, and this time there's no Khush Del Shah to stop that forceful pull shot. 200 comes up for Zim. Smashes it through extra. That's a good looking shot from Sikanda Raza. And he'll get four for this. Oh, that sounds good. Very good. And that is a six over long on for Sikandar Raza. Over number 48. Sean Williams runs for the 99 and this will be his century. That's a brilliant innings by Sean Williams for his country Zimbabwe. His fourth one-day international century. And my word, how much his team needed it today. Wahab, last over. Oh, a good blow. What a great blow. That is just one bounce for straight back over Wahab's head. Now this partnership, four short of 100. Bowled him. Wahab Riaz. He does this so often to the very best and Sinkanda Raza it's a swing and it's the death rattle yeah just for a change ball angling back into the stumps inside edge on to middle stumps Sinkanda Raza's powerful innings comes to an end Tirupano is the new bat he's in the side and he gets a single off the last. And at the end of 50 overs, Zimbabwe finish with a very creditable 278 for six. A brilliant innings by Sean Williams, his fourth one day international century. He finished 118 not out from 135 balls, 13 fours and one six. 56 from Brendan Taylor. What good form he's brought here to Raul Pindi. Madhavere again looking good, 33 from 31. Sikandar Raza, how important those runs. And they came at a rate of knots, 45 from him, 278 for six. And uh, Pakistan's bowlers, first time in his career that Shaheen has not taken a wicket in back-to-back uh, -back international one-day matches. None for 42 from him, but the standout figures and the standout bowler, Ahmed Hasnain, 10 overs, three maidens, five for 26.
Brilliant bowling from him. Musa Khan, he was expensive. None for 80 in 10. Wahab, one for 65 from 10. And Iftikhar, no wickets this time. 10 overs, none for 60. So from 22 for three, Pakistan have now got a chase. 279 runs in reply to Zimbabwe's 278 for six. And the run chase will start at 5.58 runs per over. Got a strike, get the right places, sorted in the field. But you've got to get the ball in the right place. Well, that's an exciting start by Imam ul -Haq. To control this flick. Off the mark with a four. Ball in! Talking about getting the ball in the right area, just a bit of shape into the left-hander from Zarabani. He's basically just walked through this delivery. Has Imam ul -Haq and it crashes into the off-stump. Oh, that's close enough to call. The finger is raised. It wasn't missing the stumps. Fakhar has gone for a review. Flat line, flat line. Roll through to the bags. Two down for six runs. Heather Ali is facing his first ball. Hits it into the gap. And four, what a start. He's a special talent. And this situation may just spur him on to uh, something substantial. Oh, out, out. Playing across the line. This is brilliant from Zimbabwe. High wine and playing across the line. Clearly missed the fuller length. And he was deceived by the length and then he had to go across the line. No need to run for that one. He's a classic Barbarazam. A little bit of width. Confirming your point that he's got to be consistent. But if you play classy shots like that, the cover drive. Probably the best shot in world cricket going around. Barbarazam's cover drive. Balled him right through. Mohamed Rizwan, welcome to the series, Donald Tiripano. A big gap between bat and bat. Hits the seam, depths back, maybe an inside edge. Hits the middle stump. Zimbabwe are talking. Overpitched and punished. Just a fraction too long from Tiripano. Similar at this stage, the two worms. Oh, beautifully done. A lazy shot after the drinks break by Iftikhari. Can't believe it. His first game today and has he impressed us all? Nip back in. And Iftikhar had no idea. Cleaned him up. I think that's gone through just short and wide and that was a gift from Raza doesn't want to bowl too many of those and that's just lifts the pressure half century for the Pakistan captain Barbara Azam that's his 17th 50 in uh, one day internationals and he's also got 11 centuries on that CV short just short Enough to pull. Can't drop it short to this man. Like that, seam away, and there you go. The plan works, the ball seeming away from Khosh Daly, nicks it behind the wicket that Zimbabwe won, and the man who delivers is Muzrabani. Angled away from the left-hander. Peach of a delivery to get rid of Khushdil. Down the leg side, clipped away. Barbarazam gets one to the fence yet again. Big 
Bale is that stuck outside the line? Yeah, definite review. Big player have to go for review. No bat involved. There is a gap between ball and bat. Original decision not out. Pitching outside off. Impact outside. Impact outside. Can you go back on field, please? Rashid, stay with your original decision. I'll let you know when you're on screen. You're on screen now. A terrific decision from Rashid Riaz. Impact was definitely outside. Short, poor delivery, and Wahab takes it to the fence. Ah, oh, lovely, delightful, gorgeous through mid wicket. Full pitch delivery and put away in a classic style. Yeah, you can't ball there to uh, a batsman of Baba's class. It was only a matter of time before Wahab Riaz had a big swing. And that's exactly what he's done. That'll just lift a bit of pressure, release a bit of pressure. Great one. 100 for Babar Azam, Pakistan's ODI captain. His 12th one-day international century. How well he's played. Yeah, first as captain, mm, that does help. Oh, that's a good hit. That's a really good hit. Whoa. Oh, Wahab Riaz making a nuisance of himself here. It's a six, and Wahab Riaz goes to 50. That's his third one-day international half-century. Wahab, he hasn't got enough on this, has he? No, he has not. Sean Williams takes a good catch. And is there a sting in the tail for Zimbabwe? Oh, he's picked this up. It's a great shot. Man out there can only watch it going over his head. What a super strike. It's a wonderful strike that is it's not really a strike is it it's a flick deflection oh he's gone big man underneath it coming in from that fence takes a great catch Sikandar Raza has he redeemed himself and put Zimbabwe back in the picture Shaheen Shafridi trying to go down the ground outside the edge of the pad and a terrific catch Oh, goodness, have they got the crowd? Have they got him? Yes, they have! Zimbabwe are shouting and jumping. They got the big one. To get Barbara Azam, the glove through to the keeper. Muzrabani has he got Zimbabwe home. Here we go. Oh, that could be four. That could be four. It is four. What a great strike from Musa Khan. It's gone full. Oh, he's missed it! Oh, Tendai Chisoro has misfielded, he has missed the ball and he has cost Zimbabwe. He's given Pakistan the opportunity now to win the game in the Super Over. Oh, if the car's gone after this, it's gone high and straight into the hands of Craig Irvin. A deep backward square. He knows that if the car is going to chance his arm, so pace off the delivery. If the car bottom of the bat drags it left side, and that's a good catch. A great start for Zimbabwe. Mazarabani from the pavilion end. It's gone straight up in the air. It's gone straight up in there. Who wants it? Who's got it? Raza, it dropped into no man's land. Oh, goodness. It's just been that kind of day for Zimbabwe. <coughs> Balled him. It drags it on. <laughs> Musa Rabani. What a celebration. 
And that is the end of Pakistan in this Super Over. Two for two, innings closed. Advantage, Zimbabwe. Surely Musrabani has now done enough. The slow one working inside edge onto leg stump. There's an orthodox third man who's quite fine, and there's an orthodox fine leg. Three required for Zimbabwe. They'll take one. <laughs> Ooh, this is tense. It's gone short again. He's going to get a couple here. That's a misfield. The misfield by Wahab Riaz, and it's gone for four. And that is the end of this contest. The Super Over has been won by Zimbabwe in thrilling style. It was a commanding 125 from Barbar Azam, his 12th one-day international century. Wickets were going down the other end. Kushtal came in with some late-order runs, and then Wahab Riaz with that belligerent 52. And then it was left to Musa Khan with two boundaries to get Pakistan to the 278 for nine to tie the match. Zimbabwe looked as if they had a bit more spring in their steps. Certainly blessing Muzarabani with his first five-wicket haul in ODIs. Five for 49 in 10. And Garava, the left arm, a two for 62. Chisoro, seven overs, none for 48. Two for 39 from Tirupano. He started a bit of the wreckage. And then Raza and Williams with 17 overs of their spin. The man of the match seven wickets for him five in regulation and then he took the wickets of Kushtal and Iftikhar in the super over blessing Muzarambani what a performance from this young man what a thrilling contest and what a match we had Zimbabwe won the toss 278 for six Sean Williams with a wonderful 118 from 135 Brendan Taylor again with runs Sikandar Raza and Hasnin, 5 for 26. Pakistan, 278 for 9. They matched the score. Babarazan with that century. Wahab and Kushtil. Muzarabani, 5 for 49. But the Super Over was won by Zimbabwe and essentially by blessing Muzarabani with those two wickets. The Man of the Series award was uh, given to Pakistan's captain. He was the highest scorer in the series between the two teams and the skipper took the Man of the Series award.